probably involved in trying to build thinking machines and stuff for a while. Um, well, I first started doing uh, machine learning at the University of Waikato in New Zealand using the Weka workbench. So you, if you do any machine learning, you may have seen it. It's, it's pretty neat. Um, it's it's a free software and it's got all the classifiers all the classifiers and so on all written in Java. And you can there's a big GUI and you can just plug and play with them all and just visualize it and everything. So that's pretty neat. So I started on that, and then I went um, a number of years later. I started working with Ben Goetzel, which quite a few of you probably know. Um, and I started working in New York on his uh, project, Intelligenesis, which later became WebMind. And one of the things that struck me when I was working there, as we were all meant to be working on building a thinking machine, if I went around and I talked to different people in the offices, what are we trying to achieve? What is intelligence? They'd all give me different answers. And not only would they give me different answers, but some of their answers would actually contradict each other. I mean, they would actually be inconsistent with each other, is what I'm saying. And in any project where you can't actually agree on where you're trying to get to, the different people working on it, I, I think that's, that's, a, that's a bit of a problem. And so this got me interested in trying to, trying to understand, well, what is intelligence? Um, can, can we get a, try to define more precisely where we want to get to? Now, if we can define where we want to get to, we might be able to come up with better plans on how we might try and get there. So, what I've found in general since then is that if you talk to different people in artificial intelligence, you get roughly three categories, I think, of answers about, or, or what is it when you ask them, well, what is intelligent? intelligence? One group of people basically give me answers along this line. They say, uh, well, I'm not really working on intelligence. I do speech recognition, or I do, I build classifiers, or I do, do, do whatever. Um, and I'm not really sure what intelligence is. Now, I respect these people because I think they're honest. I think they, they genuinely don't know what intelligence is. They, maybe they got interested in the field to start with because they wanted to do something like this and, and then they started building classifiers and doing, doing whatever they do. And they, may, and they do define rigorously what it is they're trying to do. There, there are definite um, measures of the form, performance of, a, of, say, categorization and so on. And you, they can, you know. So it's quite a concrete thing. But they're sort of they're drifted away. They're no longer trying to build a, a, a real intelligence. They, they're not even sure, really sure what it is. Then there's another group of people, and I think it's uh, summed up by something like this quote: "My reaction to intelligence is the same as my reaction to pornography. I can't define it, but I like it when I see it." Um, and I think this group is the problematic group. Basically, they, their attitude seems to be, "Yeah, I don't know what intelligence is. I don't know where I'm trying to get to." But I think when I arrive, I'll know it. And so let's start writing some code and building some system and trying to make something that does some stuff. And we think intelligence has something to do with this and something to do with that. So we'll throw a bit of this and then throw a bit of that in. And we sort of meander around in different directions. And so I'm, I, I, I think that's really not a very productive uh, well, yeah, you can discover some things along the way. But if you're really, if you're really serious about getting somewhere, it's, it's good to think seriously about where that is you want to get to to start with before you start trying to head off in different directions and you're not even sure when you arrive there whether you've arrived or whatever. And it leads to all kinds of problems. One of the problems that you've probably heard about is this shifting goalposts. People will say, okay, playing chess, well, you know, that was going to require real intelligence. Then it's sort of solved in a brute force way, and they're like, oh, maybe it doesn't really require intelligence after all. Playing Go, that's going to require intelligence. In the last few years, there's been an enormous amount of progress in uh, Go playing systems. They can now compete with the low-level professional um, players. Um, and so people start to think, well, maybe Go isn't really intelligence either. And I think that's a symptom of this problem of not actually having a clear idea where we want to get to, but thinking that, well, when we arrive, Eventually, if our random sort of search, we'll, um, we'll know it when we get there. So I'm in, I'm in the third group. And it's, I think it's summarized by, by this sort of quote. Basically, what we want to do is, is if, if we're serious about the I in AI, we've got to think seriously about what this thing is. What it is, what it isn't, and, and try to make it a, a, a bit more concrete. But it would even just make it more explicit exactly what the different opinions are and so on. 
And almost nobody does this. Almost nobody does this. I, I published a paper, I put together the, uh, the biggest collection of definitions of intelligence that, as far as I know, is ever, anyone's ever put together. Um, I also put together um, the only, which I think is remarkable, the only review of measures of machine intelligence. You think about that. This is, you have this whole field of artificial intelligence. Nobody has ever done a review of measures of machine intelligence. As far as I, I mean, please tell me if, if somebody else has done it before. As far as I know, nobody's ever done that. That's ridiculous. If you want to be a science, you need to define things, and you need to be able to measure things. Otherwise, you don't even know if you're making progress. You don't even know where you're trying to get to. So if anybody's looking for a topic for the uh, thesis that they're writing, <coughs> they can have a go at that. Uh, well, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a difficult thing to work on because you tend to get ignored. The people in the area, a lot of them, are either this group, and they're like, oh yeah, we're not too worried about what intelligence is, but at least they're honest, they know they're not trying to do it. Well, they're this group, and they're like, oh, we don't really care about defining intelligence, we just, we, we're going to know when we get there. And so you're generally ignored. So my review of um, measures of machine intelligence, as far as I know, has never been signed by anybody in the last few years. People, people are just not interested in this, and I think that's fundamentally wrong if you want to be a scientist. So, but there are a few people that write papers that say, hey, we need to uh, define it, and this is, this is one example here. Right. So, what is intelligence? Now, I'm going to present this a little bit backwards in a way. I'm going to present my results first, and then I'm going to present some of the supporting evidence for it. And the reason for that is that it's easier to judge some of the supporting evidence if you already know where I arrived at at the end. See? So it it's makes, makes sense in that way. So, so what I did, as I said before, is I, I put, uh, put together this big collection of definitions of intelligence from organizations, from psychologists, from artificial intelligence researchers. And I went, looking, I went uh, through all these definitions looking at the um, commonalities. And it seemed a bit discouraging to start with, but actually as I, as I progressed, I found that there were clusters of definitions, and some of these groups were much larger than others. And within the group, often there'd be the same ideas expressed again and again, either in different language or at different levels of abstraction. And there were actually a lot of similarities, particularly within what I think is the, the main kind of cluster. And so what I tried to do, based on my review of all these definitions, is to put together a, a very general and simple, but also fairly mainstream view on what intelligence is, and use this as my informal definition to start with. Okay. So the first thing is that intelligence is a property of some active agent. The, you, you have you have something that interacts with the world, some sort of environment or so on, and when you're talking about intelligence, you're talking about a property of this this agent, and that's fairly universal across definitions. Um, the agent has to in interact with an environment. It doesn't really make sense to have think of the intelligence of a system that doesn't has no external interaction. And, and the, this turns up in a lot of definitions, as, you, as you'll see as well. And it's to do with the, the, the dynamics of this interaction and what, and what goes on there. Um, intelligence is a matter of degree. We often when we're speaking, we say something is intelligent or it isn't intelligent, but, but really it's, 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 becomes, it's fairly clear that it's a matter of degree. There's some things are more intelligent than others. There's some kind of scale there. Um, another property, which is perhaps slightly less obvious, is that the intelligence is related to the agent's success in achieving goals. It's not that the agent is just sort of drifting around and, and, and doing whatever, but there's some tangible sense of success or failure and intelligence is to do with the agent's ability to make decisions to lead to achieving some sort of goal or so on. And this also comes through in quite a few of the definitions you'll see. Um, and finally the environment is not fully known to the agent so the agent has to be adaptable. It has to learn, it has to adapt, it has to 
um, adjust itself, it has to come up with, invent new strategies, it has 